Hi folks, welcome down to the Horde. So let's see, today is Sunday, no, today is Saturday. It is St. Valentine's Day, welcome to St. Valentine's Day. It's a little before, bit before three o'clock, because a quarter to three. And uh, hope everyone's having a good Valentine's Day, huh? I'm about to eat something. My wife calls this the devil's turd. It's uh, some kind of beef with cheese and that green stuff. I'm not sure what that green stuff is. Let's zoom you in a little more. Kind of rolled up. Um, it doesn't taste like kale. I don't know, maybe like Swiss chart. I get it at Hannaford. It's one of those pre-made things. So I roast it up. And then I cut some of it off when I'm in the mood for a snack and uh, and um, microwave it up. Um, stinks like hell. Uh, last time I had it, they actually rolled some mushrooms in there too. So I, uh, I typically get banished to the basement to eat it. Well, so well it's cooling off. There you go. We got the wood stove going. Got firewood, big pile of firewood over there, and uh, you guys will never guess what it's doing outside. Let me show you. That's the wife playing piano. So, what's it doing outside? According to weather report, we're supposed to get somewhere between uh, two and six inches between tonight and tomorrow morning. And uh, we already got two inches, so God knows how much it's gonna snow. That seems to be all it ever does anymore. Managed to fight my way up to the wood pile. Bring in some firewood. And uh, there we are. So I guess, what's the point of this video? I guess the point of this video, every once in a while, you just kind of have to kick it out of gear and go with uh, the weather. The weather is nasty, slippery, crappy. It's supposed to be record cold for the next week. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, just the time when you gotta say, hey, I'm gonna sit by the wood stove, put some wood in there, watch a little TV, dream about spring and the projects I could get into. Then, I'd like to uh, play with the inverters put some nice big batteries on them and see how they do with load testing but if you don't have the real batteries to put to them all you're basically doing is figuring out how good your 12 volt supply is and how good that's wired to the inverters and I really don't have all that rock solid a 12 volt supply to put on it so no use uh, playing with that the ignition systems I put together the low cost ignition system. I tried out the high higher performance ignition system. So I got those ready to go on something once I get it built. About this, and I probably will play with this a little bit. What I'll do is I'll go get some angle iron. But I was uh, looking at it, trying to figure out a way of putting it together such that it, uh, it comes out easily. I mean, obviously a bar here, but now I'm trying to figure out what to do to uh, hook up to it. Because remember, at some point, i got to be able to get this thing in and out of the cradle, right? 
particularly after I build the cradle one wants to be able to get it get it in there seems that most of the time they don't worry too much about this you set it up where there's enough front room where you could go forward to get her loose right once you get the front motor mounts off you go forward which means these motor mounts given that they're removable and they're going to be quite a ways from a support you're not really counting on them for doing most of the work you're really counting on that one that one and this guy to do work um, so you guys could see I'm thinking about boy once I could get to my welder and angle iron what what to do with this um, not to make it sound trivial but once the cradle's built and obviously what, what I need to do is get this thing out to the golf cart and actually kind of put it in the hole and move things around to see I also have to check directionality I, I already checked this directionality um, when the motor's going in the proper direction right this goes in the proper direction it goes forward for the tire I call it, consider proper direction tire forward which is counterclockwise um, so I've checked that out I just have to check the gear on the um, on the golf cart to make sure that it's also going in that direction if I have to turn it counterclockwise to get the or clockwise to get the tires to turn counterclockwise, then I'm gonna have to start doing interesting things like set this up backwards and all. Anyway, this is about all I got. I guess I'm uh gonna enjoy some Valentine's Day eating a little devil's turd by the wood stove. Put some wood in here. Help keep the oil bill down a little bit against the record cold coming our way. And that's it. Um, hope you guys are getting a little more done. Um, Musty One's going forward on his three-wheeler, which is pretty cool. You Dizzy's looking out his window, watching... Uh, watching his neighbors battle with each other and cars crash into each other and get stuck and so forth always a good time um, Volkswagen Darren's enjoying the warmth down in Florida um, I guess uh, wild-eyed northern boy up there is uh, working on a son's Pontiac I guess what they they have going for them to a much better extent than I do is uh, they have not filled all their working space with crap which keeps them from working because instead of having working space to work you have working space that's full of storage so this is something I need to work on anyway folks I want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing and I hope you guys all have a great St. Valentine's Day. Um, you know, sit near your wood stove. Sit near your wife, girlfriend. And, uh, you know, some days, like, uh, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them and say, there's not too much I could get done right now. Anyway, folks, remember... Keep your feet down. Keep your head up. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And remember to enjoy all your days. Bye now.